Hello, this is Julie. Welcome into the Thrifty Paper Garden. Today I took my husband and we went to a community garage sale. Oh my word, I have forgotten how wonderful garage sales can be after the cold, hard winter and doing lots of thrifting at thrift stores. So I just want to show you real quick some of the items that I received. Now the first garage sale I went to, I found this collar hidden in the bottom of a box of scarves, but I was able to pull that out. So I went to the next garage sale and saw these precious pot holders, and there was a whole box of them. And I heard someone say something about doilies, and I looked up and there was another box and another box and I just got a few pieces but I went up to the lady now these are plastic and I thought those might work well for stencils and this one is plastic as well that would just work really well and the same sale they had a bunch of full-size tea cups and this little one and I asked the lady I said who is responsible for all this handiwork and it was a lady probably a little bit older than myself and she said her mother-in-law had passed away and they couldn't possibly keep it all and I told her, if it makes you feel any better, I will take good care of it. And I found a bag of laces and this, I assume that's like tatted trim and this table runner and this shower curtain has gold thread in it. Oh, it's beautiful. And this curtain, can you tell that I had a fun time today? And this fun runner. And then I found this, and I thought that might be fun to cut those pieces out along the stitch line and use that Christmas ivy. And I found clothing that had some black lace on it and this dark blue piece that had a bunch of these wonderful circle, I guess I'd call them doilies. And I found, I love finding paper ribbon, and it makes beautiful flowers. And I know this isn't vintage, but it looks, it has a vintage look to it. And I found this fun baby mold. I assume you make candies, but I imagine you could use the resin to make baby embellishments. And I found some neat Christmas cards. I just thought it has some glitter to it. And I thought that would be neat to put in mini albums. And I found a bunch of those and these fun postcards. And I know they've been, let's see, what year does it say on here? Don't see a year, but they've been around for a while. And the same lady that had her mother-in-law that passed away. These cute little envelopes. And this is um, 1979, never been opened. And then I found some vintage napkins. And this they have a wonderful feel to them. And I found, whoops, this one as well. What a beautiful countryside scene and then I found this fun trim 
in pink, purple, and black. And I told the lady, whatever mood I'm in, I have a boa to wear. So that'll be fun to work with. And I found a little bit of junk jewels. That's real pretty. I thought with the earrings I could hang that off a mini album or a chunky charm and dangle other things on there. And I found these jeans in the free pile and I thought it'd be fun to make little um, little bag out of the jean pocket. And then I found, in hindsight, I should have picked them all up. But the small stamps, which would be considered these three that I got, were 50 cents, and the large sets were a dollar. That is incredible. And this one I got because my daughter is going to be a music teacher. And then this fun little one. And then I found these fun little crystal picks. I love to add these to flower clusters. And I had some other greenery in there. And then I found these fun doily little uh, sun hats. Little miniatures. And miniature little brush trees. This will be great for Christmas some with the snow look on them, and I found an Avon perfume bottle. I found quite a few, though I only purchased this one, because when you have too much, you kind of have to be a little bit pickier, and I figured that won't take up much room, and then I found this book, and it is a book full of wonderful pictures. It has the history of Avon and just wonderful color photos. And I think the person that had this book was a member of the National Association of Avon Collectors. Who would have thought? I wonder if that is still around. And then some books. A beloved famous preacher and Billy Sunday. This is copyrighted 1914 and my husband picked these up and you know antique books sometimes they charge way too much so I said how much for the books? She said oh 50 cents a piece so of course we took them home. So that is just a quick perusal of the things that I found today. Excited Oh, and I forgot to show you. I asked my husband, what are these? And because I know Tabasco 14, Johnny, I know what these are. They're lipstick holders, and they were just too cute. Oh, and this piece as well. I like to put those on my lapel pins, or put that on my little lapel. So thanks so much for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.